let me make things clear. EFDC Explorer and EFDC Plus, they are lumped together as EEMS, but they're kind of separate. EFDC Explorer is a um, post and preprocessor for EFDC. So it's like a separate program that will let you, you know, you know edit and view input files, view, um, view output files, but it's not running it. So it calls the Fortran executable and then it runs it. So, so that's why you, you will hear me saying EFDC Plus and EFDC Explorer. They're kind of go together, but they're kind of two different separate programs. Um, if you have full license, I guess you have um, source code um, available to you and you can compare your source code with the original code and you'll see a bunch of changes. I'll talk about all the changes and all the um, capabilities that DSI has added over the years. So then I'll briefly talk about the hydrodynamic modeling approach, uh, what to do in what type of water bodies like from rivers to lake to estuaries, what are the forcing factors that you want to consider um, in your modeling. Then I'll talk about EFDC Plus and EFDC Explorer modeling system, what's in here, what, are, what applications you can use the model to. And issues and solutions means uh, I'll give you some overview of different projects where we have used EFDC Explorer and EFDC Plus. So you, you can have basic idea like if I have this kind of system, can I use EFDC or not? So I think that would be helpful. And then we'll do a hands-on uh, 1D river model. We'll br create a model after the lunch, because usually after lunch, all of us will feel sleepy. So doing hands-on will be a um, good thing to do. Um, for day two, um, there are five things that I want to cover. But depending on if you have experience with that or not, we can skip one and prioritize another. So georeferencing is like bringing the map, georeference map on your EFDC Explorer background so you can see exactly where your rivers are, where your um, channels, and you can see if your model is accurately representing the topography or bathymetry of the river. Then we'll do, um, we'll spend a few time uh, on CBL grid. I'll show you basic features, how you can create a um, grid using CBL grid. EFDC Explorer also has capability to create grids, but it's just Cartesian and simpler grids. But if you want to have complex grid and you have your grids follow the shoreline, um, it's very helpful uh, to create uh, curvilinear grids. Then we'll do a 2D lake model. That would be a lake in Florida, Lake Tonatosa, I think. I'm not good at pronounce, pronouncing the name. Um, then we'll build a 2D lake together and play around with uh, different features because that's what you want, right? How to use different features. Even if you have used for a couple of years, there will always be more features that you haven't used. Because I used EFDC Explorer for <laughs> four or five years. Then I came here still, there were so many things that I was not using because I did not need it. But once you are familiar with those things, then it will make things faster and 